Chica Buddy Buddies and my Zulu babies. This is Ace Campbell coming up on 12 o'clock midnight, playing the best of yesterday exclusively for all of Southern California. For all you weather fanatics out there, it's currently 7 o'clock. But then again, who cares? Nobody lives there. You know, speaking of the Blonde Patrol, up on deck is our own Midnight Queen, Andrea Fields Forever. She's going to take you into tomorrow. And, you know, speaking of tomorrow, I, I love these segues. We're going to continue that story. The gentleman, of, I think it's some little town in Virginia, who has locked himself in a telephone booth with 42 carrier pigeons. He is demanding that all the money that he has lost in the last 30 years in pay phones be returned to him, including interest. I love this guy. All right, I'm going home to have some milk and cookies. Andrea Fields is up next. And remember, this is Ace Campbell saying Ace knows the place. Keep your dial to 96.3 KGRR. Ciao. Yo, it's the Midnight Queen. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Ace. You working Saturday night? Uh, no. Uh -uh. No? Well, what do you say? You want to go out? Out? Yeah. Yeah, out. Uh, you know, like a date. You know, I put on a suit, a little tie, you put on a dress, mm, we go to dinner, we eat, maybe a club later on, I mean, who knows? I don't think so, Ace. Thanks, anyway. Annie, can I ask you a question? Sure. We had something together. At least I thought so. Then you said you needed some time, so I backed off, and I waited. And I waited. Did I miss the punchline here, or uh, did you give me the brush off and I didn't see it? You seeing someone else? No. Uh-uh. Then what is going on with you here? I mean, have you forgotten how to smile? Look, I, I know it's, it's none of my business, but you're either spectacularly unhappy or you're doing a fabulous imitation of abject misery here. Look, Ace, I don't know what to tell you. I... I really liked going out with you. I mean, we had some great times, but I guess I'm just not ready for anything more than a few laughs. I mean, it's not that I don't like you. I, no, it's okay. It's okay. No big deal. So we're not lovers anymore. We're still friends. And I'm going to tell you two important things. One, you need someone in your life besides yourself. And number two, you got about 90 seconds before we start broadcasting dead air. <laughs> Ciao. I found it in a bin at Tower Records. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. It's your old boyfriend, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I figured since you probably had more than a few laughs with him, and uh, you didn't have the album. No, I said I never listened to it. Uh, there's a big difference. You okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, see you tomorrow night. Miners hats, people. This is Andrea Fields, and we're going to be spending the next four hours panning for gold. First up on our gold rush is a little treasure, Night Song by Simon Locke.
be angry, Andy. I need to talk to you. Well, after five years, don't you think it's a little late? Yes, it has been. But I didn't stop thinking about you, needing you. You never needed anyone. When you walked out, my life stopped. And now you just waltz back in here like nothing ever happened? Well, get out! Get out! I don't want to see you. I've lost five years of my life. So please, just go away. For all you night owls out there, this is Murphy Vinamelli's mellow tunes and the two dogs on KGR on the Doing here. I was just trying to help. Did I ask you to? You don't like yourself anymore, Andy, do you? Just leave me alone. It's probably the battery. Then I'm gonna cab. What, this time of the morning? Then I'll walk. I'll walk with you. Come on, Andrew, I'm trying to explain. Well, then why don't you try and tell me where you've been for five years? Uh, around. Around? What the hell kind of answer is that? Why? Well, I... Look, oh, what I mean on, is I... Simon. You can't dish out the crap like you used to. I'm not buying it. Dropping out of sight every time you needed to work on a new song. Every time you needed to be inspired. The way that groupie in Fresno inspired you. You knew about that? I knew about all of them. I was just too young and in love to care. this stupid idea that you needed me. I did. I did. I just got lost. I can't explain it better than that. The brakes that always headed my way. went to somewhere else. It just slipped by me, Andy. <laughs> just slipped by me. But you had a record contract. I mean, Night Song was the first of two. What happened? Well, I guess I wasn't ready for it. Simon, you always were two beats behind. I just get back, and you're nagging me already. <laughs> Remember when you were going to trade your van in for studio time? Yeah, I still think you would have gone for it. Oh, yeah, maybe if you hadn't crashed it into a tree first. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we were stranded in Tucson, you were singing at that little bar? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. We were together. We did have fun, didn't we? Didn't we? You haven't changed. Yes, I have. I hope not. Not altogether. The Simon I knew wanted to change the world with his songs. Modest little girl. <laughs> the Simon I knew wanted to be that comic book hero, the, the golden girl. condor, when he grew up. When <laughs> Darkness falls and evil calls. Oh, come on. And terror rules the street. Call him a golden condor and. Uh, and crime shall no defeat. defeat. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. Andy, don't go. Andy, please.
This isn't very funny. I had that album the whole time. Maybe I put it on. <sighs> Playing tricks with yourself, Andrea. Go to sleep. Simon's not here. I'm here, Andy. <sighs> no, Simon, please. I didn't come back to hurt you this time. You must believe that. The songs were about us, weren't they? Yes, the songs were about us. About you. I could never listen to them. No, I understand that. Why did I put it on? I mean, why tonight? Maybe it's time, Andy. Time to feel something. I'm still afraid. Oh, Anna. This time, there's no going back. Is that what you came here to tell me? In a way, yes. But there's more to it than that. Well, you got yourself a wasted trip. Why couldn't you just leave me with what I remembered? What is it, Simon, you had to see if you could still wrap me around your finger? See if I still loved you? Needed you? Well, why don't you just take your music and your soft, perfect words and get the hell out of here? Oh, Andy, I don't blame you for being angry, for feeling hurt and humiliated. But there's something you just don't understand. I want to show you something. Will you come with me? Everything in my life. Maybe I was running from you. Maybe I was running from success. I don't know. Simon, slow down. It was just before the album was released. Do you remember? The label was enthusiastic about it. They wanted me to do some concert stands to help promote it, maybe some television. I panicked, Andy. I don't know whether I was afraid of failure or success. Maybe I was. Maybe I was afraid that if the album really took off, I actually became a success. I, I wouldn't have any excuses anymore. Whatever it was, I just took off. 
jumped on my bike and started running. And I ran farther than I intended to. What is it, Simon? Something happened. I, I don't know what. Suddenly the brakes weren't working. Come with me. Your album that no one remembered. No one cared. And then you played it. Finally, you heard my songs. Our songs. And I felt stronger. And I came back. Because you needed me. The bike that almost hit you at the station. That was me, Andy. I was saving you from me. Do you understand? You can forget Simon Locke. You deserve better than that. But I love you, Simon. I never stop loving you. I know. I know. But you can stop now. That's really why I came back. To let you start living again. Forgive me, Andy. Forgive me, please. GRR request line. Yeah, I've got a request. Yes, what is it? Could you play a um, night song by Simon Locke again? I'd be delighted to play that again. Thanks. Thanks a lot. KGRR, and this is Night Song. From Andrea to Simon with love. Thank you. 